Apple Watch OS 9 introduces new watch faces during your workout called workout views. And in this video, I'm going to show you what each workout view is and explain how to enable them. Workout views will vary between workouts. What you see for traditional strength training will be different from what you see for a run. And specific workout goal types, such as pacer and custom, will have different workout views as well. There's a lot to explore here, so let's get started. Metrics. Metrics are the typical workout view we've seen in workouts prior to Watch OS 9. Now, however, you have much more control over what metrics are displayed. Essentially, you'll have four blocks that you can fill with whatever metrics you like. For an outdoor run, that could be options including cadence, calories, distance, duration, elevation, ground contact time, heart rate, pace, power, stride length, and vertical oscillation. Not all workouts will have the same metrics, however, but for a workout like traditional strength training, the only metrics you'll see are options for calories, duration, and heart rate. Metrics 2. Metrics 2 is the same as Metrics 1 in that you have four slots to fill for any additional metrics you'd like to see. And of course, these vary by workout. Split. For workouts like running, cycling, and walking, there's a split workout view that will show you your pace over certain distance increments. Segment. Segment will allow you to track your performance over a specific portion of your workout. In a strength training workout, that could be hopping between different exercises, or for a run around the track, it could be each lap you complete. For workouts with segments enabled, no matter what workout view you're displaying, tapping the screen twice will allow you to create a new segment. Pretty much all the workouts have a segment option, and you can determine what those segments are. Heart rate zones. Heart rate zones will show you where your heart rate is in relation to your maximum heart rate. This is helpful to measure your intensity and how hard you're working during your workout. And if you want to see each of those heart rate zones explained, go ahead and check out this video right over here. Elevation. For outdoor runs, cycles, and walks, you'll be able to see your elevation, which is the change in vertical height over the course of your workout. You'll see your total elevation gained, as well as your current elevation. Power. For outdoor running specifically, there's a power workout view, which is another way to measure your running effort outside of your heart rate and pace. A good example of this is how your pace slows down when you're running uphill. At face value, running at a slow pace can indicate you're not working as hard. However, in the context of running uphill, you're actually working harder, generating more power. And that's something that's captured with the power metric, measured in watts. Activity rings. If your goal is to close your activity rings, now you can watch as you make progress towards doing so throughout your entire workout. You'll see your move, exercise, and stand goals, and see real-time progress. All workouts have this workout view as an option. Pacer. For indoor and outdoor runs, and outdoor cycle workouts, there's a new pacer workout option that will allow you to aim for specific distances under a certain time duration. This unique workout view will show you how you're doing in terms of reaching that goal. Custom. Most workouts, with the exception of swims, will allow you to create a custom workout. This gives you the ability to set work and recovery intervals and shows you a unique workout view that displays how much time or distance is left in your current interval. How to enable workout views. If you'd like to see any of these available views during your workout, here's how you can enable them. First, go to the workout app on your Apple Watch. Find the workout you want and tap the three green dots to the right. Then tap the pencil icon next to the specific workout goal type you'd like. Then tap workout views. To edit, tap edit views. Here, you can explore your options and toggle the include button green to enable them. Enhanced workout summary. After your workout, you'll be able to see all your metrics in greater detail in the Apple Fitness app's workout summary on your iPhone. And be sure to check out this video right over here if you'd like a breakdown of the new enhanced workout summary. So those are all the new workout views in watchOS 9 explained. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fitness app content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.